well, you see, I've got I've got this thing out. Uh, um, I noticed that I've got soot here. I'm up pipes, so I'm gonna have to order order me some decent ones. I'm not gonna just go with the cheap Dorman ones. I'm gonna uh, I put some good ones on my other truck. That's what I'm gonna put on here. Uh, so that'll give me some time to clean the things up. This is a factory exhaust, and they did a muffler delete. I guess that's their muffler delete right there. Uh, I mean, it sounds pretty good, but uh, that diamond eye that I put on my other truck, it's like $400. Uh, I may just go ahead and splurge and get put that on here. I mean, it'd be easy to put on while, while this is just a part like that. Uh, so, I don't know. I gotta get the dash out of this thing, all the wire, the hot wire harnesses out of it, take the uh, uh, running boards off of there. Those some nice looking running boards. Uh, bottom of this truck's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's, and it's a 99. This part, this part of it's a 99. The dash has already been swapped out. This has been done before. That This is a 99 dash in there. I mean, uh, it's a 2001 dash. Uh, best I can tell. So, anyway, I figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing. Keep, keep it out of the rain. Uh, may just keep it halfway in the garage. And pull the door down as far as I can on it. So I'll catch y'all later. All right, guys, we got a rainy day out here today. Uh, I have nothing but rain for a while because of that hurricane off, off, off that came in off into Texas and everything. So what I've done is there's not much left of this cab. Um, I stripped everything out, but I took the dash out because the dash and the wiring harness is, is going to stay with the engine and all that. This is a 2001 Lariat and I need a wiring harness. Um, Got to take the dash out to get all that out anyway, so I'm going to just stick that dash in the other truck. Um, now I've got this red truck out there and these are bent on it. And what I'm thinking about doing is kind of cutting this out a little bit. They make a tool for drilling these, these, these welds out. I know you can buy these individual pieces, um, but I'm thinking about getting that tool, dr dr drill these out, it's separating that, and stick that on that other truck. I'll, I'll, ha I'll have me another dually. Um, um, so when the weather clears, or I get this this pulled out of the way, I'm, I'm going to get this get this what's left of this cab out out into the uh out here at the yard uh, somewhere but here's my pile i've got doors here's here's the floor uh the back section over there is cut in two pieces i, I cut everything up so I, I could move it it's, that floor was kind of kind of heavy but um with this rubber stuff on here i can't use my torch on it and uh, I used up all my my cutting disc to, to cut it, and I used the torch. I, I didn't think about it, but I could have used my my porta band to cut to cut those those sections there. But I, I didn't think about it, so after I was done. Uh, but I've stripped everything out of here. Here's pieces out of, out of the doors, and that's mangled. But uh, I mean, I saved everything. Got all the, the door, all the door hardware. Uh, so the other thing I need to do, I've got to change out this. Uh, these, and put new up pipes on here and I also want to check while it's easy to get to these valve covers is I want to make sure all the glow plugs are working um, I've got to get that done tonight so if, if nobody has eight of them I'm gonna to have to have to order some so I want to get the gate get them on order uh, and over here is my uh, up pipes they come from diesel site uh, and I hadn't hadn't opened them up yet, but let's grab a knife. Let's see what that looks like. This comes with the uh, comes with a new baby's butt. 
all, all the hardware. Uh, the last one I did uh, for the, this is for the 99 and a half up, you know, 99 and a half to 2003. Uh, my other ones are uh, early 99s and it doesn't come with a baby butt. Uh, and of course, all of the screws are gonna break off in, in that thing. So you gotta drill them out and tap them, all, all that good stuff. So I won't have to deal with that this time. So let's just see what this looks like. All right, there's the donuts and the new hardware. here I got these bellows and the bellows are designed so that the pipe runs up inside of there in other words this pipe runs all the way all the way through but the bellows seals it so that that can it can move up or down on that um, how well y'all can see that If you look, you can see that this is moving in the, in the, in the end of the pipe business. So that's, that's, that's where it gets its flex. But it's not putting, it's not directing the, the, the hot gas. Uh, in other words, it's going all the way through it. And yeah, there, you know, there is, it, it's, some comes back, but it's not, it's not directed at it. So it's just like a, uh, a union. A lot of people don't realize if you install a union backwards, they can leak. And it's all for that same type of reason. And here's here's the new baby's butt. So I ordered an X-Day Air, and I just got busy. I, I, want, I wanted to get that uh, cab out of the way so I had room to work in here because I, I knew it was getting getting ready to rain and. Uh, uh, it just took took me longer than than, than than what I thought to get that. So I guess I could have ordered it second day air. Uh, challenge I have with moving this thing is that without a steering wheel, these wheels want to do what do what they, do what they want. Um, so I've I've I got this out out of that cab. Um, I'm gonna put my half inch wrench in there and, and kind of lock it in place, you know, so when I when I go to move it, uh, try to keep those tires from turning. So I gotta get in here and ch check these uh, glow plugs. Uh, got them disconnected on this side. See, I just wanna make, make sure they're all working. Uh, and the reason it's really important to me is because if you plug your truck in you know obviously it's you're, you're wasting electricity if i have to plug my truck in to get it start start next morning that's a nice warm spot and them damn rats get in there and they chew on wires and i've had uh, problems with uh my abs you know that's 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 something that the dot will put, put, put you out of service for uh, y'all can see. Alright, so. Alright, that's K ohms. See, that, that, that one's no good. ohms that's no good they, sh they should be a real real low resistance maybe I'll find a good one K ohms big ohms yeah I think I'm just gonna get a set of eight oh here's a good one I don't know if you can if y'all can see that two 2.8 ohms so there's one good one I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna you got three, three bad on one side. Probably gonna have the same thing on the other side. I'm just, I'm just gonna order it. Uh, I'm just gonna get to, to get a set of eight. Um, no, no sense fooling around with it. It's such a pain to, to get these 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 um, 
valve covers off. This side here, you've got the the uh, evaporator uh, section of your air conditioning is is right here. It's, it's it's I mean it's real hard to get to get in there. I have taken that cover off, and that that's that's a booger bear just 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 getting that off. Um, um, and then on the um, driver's side, this bolt back here. Uh, is is the, the the firewall is like this and of course you got your valve covers like that and maybe i don't know if y'all can see that the firewall comes up over, over like this and then the valve cover comes up and you can get like your fingertips on it and you got to use like a uh i wound up using a quarter inch socket with a a, a, a hex to uh, square adapter and then and I put a quarter inch wrench on that hex adapter and that that's how that's how funky it is to get to get in there to that thing so um, these connections I mean these things are perfectly perfectly clean I mean I don't know if this thing's ever been gone into um, you can see it does have the, the long lead um, injector on, 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 on number eight and as I see it's a different color for that too uh, I haven't really looked. I've, I've got to clean them up and, and look. And stuff. I don't know whether these are, are the original. That's the AB. That's the AD. 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 Uh, so it look look like stock injectors, which is fine. I, I don't. I'm not trying to make a whole bunch of horsepower. Um, I will take and check the torque on these. Um, the back one you can't really get to. Um, you can't get a torque wrench on it. You have to have the injector out to, to torque those. So you torque those first, install the injector, and then you torque this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check the torque of these with my torque wrench, make sure that none of them loose. If if any of them are loose, I'm I'm gonna redo all of those uh, those those bolts. And I guess that's gonna that's gonna mean I'm gonna have to to get a get a full set of O-rings because I'll have to pull the injector out. So I can I can take that top bolt out so I can clean the threads and lock tight it and, and, and torque it, put the injector in and set the torque on this one with lock tight and everything on it. When they come loose, the, 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 the injector lifts a little bit and the cup can lift from, from the, the compression of the engine and then you wind up with uh, combustion gases uh, coming out through the coolant. Uh, the thing will blow all, all the coolant out, 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 out of the system, you know, or it'll, it'll be, be blowing it out. And it's happened to me a couple times, so now as a check, and what I've noticed is that it will show up the next morning is when, when, when you'll find it. When you come home, everything still seems fine. You don't, you don't realize anything happened. Um, but the next morning, you, you start the truck up and you warm it up and you don't have no heat coming out to defrost and then you come out and you check you gra grab your radiator hose and normally you know it, you should be able to squeeze it like that but the the radiator hose will be will be cool and it'll be hard so if it was it's, so that's not steam if it was steam given to the pressure then that um, hose would be hot if the, hot, if the hose is hard and cold it's combustion gases and I do have a test kit for checking that right here uh, you, you put the fluid you, you put this the, the the blue fluid in there and you stick this over the radiator and it'll bump you know if, it, if it's got any kind of pressure on it it'll bubble and it, that, that that green will you'll see it says from blue to yellow, uh, it, it will, uh, it really turns green, but uh, uh, if I find it, I'll, I'll, I'll add, add a clip to so, so y'all can, can see what that does. So uh, I also, clean, I, you know, before I took all this apart, you know, y y yesterday I, I, I bought some cans of degreaser and I, I degreased it. I mean, I, I'm not trying to make it perfect, but at least I didn't have crap falling down inside of here while 
while I had, you know, I was taking the valve covers off, so got that kind of, kind of, you know, halfway clean. Um, so I'll have to, like I say, I'm gonna get that uh, those up pipes done. I'm, I'm gonna change change out those those glow plugs. I'm just gonna just do a full set and, and be done with it. Um, um, and that's about it. Once I get that, once I get get the, the glow plugs done, button this back up, get this done. Um, it'll be time to tackle that bad boy over there. Get that cab off of there and stick it on here. It'll be a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. I'll have a nice truck when I'm all done. Um, another thing I noticed, this has the original style starter. It's not the gear reduction starter, so I do have a gear reduction starter on, 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 the, on, on the other engine. Um, I mean, I may just leave it for now, but, you know, as, as, as soon as it's caused a problem, I'll, I'll just swap it out. I won't even have to buy another one, because I've got one right there. Um, that's about it for now. I'll, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do much more tonight. I, I may, I may get that, I may, may start on the, uh, on that. I mean, it's, 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 it's almost seven o'clock, so, um, my days, oh, I know what I want to look at. Let's, let's look at, let's look at that, uh, turbo. Yeah, that don't look too pretty. That's kind of rough. Let me, let me get a light. Something else I need to get. How oh, y'all can see that? It's definitely chewed up. Oh boy, always something, man. Always something. Well, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that. I'm guessing some some somebody didn't pay attention too much to their their airflow. I don't feel any slop in it. I mean, It's like the bearings are okay. It's just, just, just. It looks, looks like, looks like the wheels messed up. Ah. Huh? All right. Well, I figure out what I'm gonna do about that. All right, we're back at it here. Uh, I went and picked me up some uh, genuine Motorcraft uh, glow plugs. Uh, I wouldn't use anything else. Uh, I was gonna order them online when I ordered my turbo wheel. Uh, I found them cheaper at Advance Auto, and it just cut my freight bill in half. So uh, I did a next day air, cost me thirty-six dollars. Versus with the glow plugs, it would have been fifty-six dollars. So I guess they want to charge you twenty dollars to fly those glow plugs across the country. So uh, anyway, I got this side here open and ready to go. Um, the uh, let me let me zoom y'all in. Hang on. Ah, that should be better. Okay, so um, got, got got the valve cover off. I haven't disconnected anything yet. Um, uh, so to get these uh, glow plugs, you've got a connector that's on them, and I've got this bent type of needle nose pliers, and just want to kind of grab that and. The plastic part, not the wire. You saw me accidentally just grab it there. 
pull it up. Um, don't obviously you don't want to pull by the wire. You'll 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 you'll, you'll, you'll be changing it out. Um, and this undercover wire harness, it all looks really good. So I'm not worried about replacing it. So I'm gonna try not to tear these up, get and get them out. Loose. This is in the way. This is so much easier doing this like this rather than leaning way over the engine compartment, which you'd normally be doing. Uh, just go down there. There we go. Ah. Set y'all up here. So, gotta use they 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 take a 10 millimeter socket, but you can't get them all the way out. All we can do is get them uh, loose, and you have to put some tubing over it to pull it the rest of the way out. The, 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 rock, the rocker arm blocks you from it'll it'll stop the wrench from from getting all the way out. So. All I'm going to do is just pop them loose. I didn't even check this side. When I checked the other side, I had one good one and three bad ones. So, I would assume the ratio would be about the same over here. Uh, this wire... I'm going to pull the wire for the injector. It's in the way of getting this yeah. socket out of the way. So, to put it back in, it's basically just the opposite process. Uh, Gonna just take each one of these, stick them on there. Stick them down in the hole. And then you just basically twist it. Now you can see I've 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 gone as far as it can go. It's it's all I gotta do is tighten it down. Without a piece of tubing, I mean, yeah, you could you could take the rockers off. That seems like an awful lot of work. I would take, and if you hadn't done this before, and you don't already know this trick with the tubing, I would just go and, and when you buy the glow plugs. Buy some tubing at the same time. You got the glow plugs right there, so you'll you'll know if you've got a good fit. It's got to be something you can push on remotely, so to speak. You know, in other words, to push on the old one, so you're not going to have it in your hand where you can just stick it like that up close. You're going to have to have your wrench on there, and if it's you know it'll it'll do this if you're too far away. But the closer you get, sit with your needle nose pliers, uh, you can get in there and get it. Uh, Get that thing pushed on there so you can pull that that, that, that out. The alternative is to try to sit there and twiddle that thing in with your fingers. And uh, I imagine that's that's quite a quite a quite a chore. I gotta go go look. I gotta look up the uh, the torque spec here. Hang on a second. All right, so I googled it, and it's 100 plus 14 foot pounds, but uh, that's kind of low for my regular torque wrench so I'm gonna use my inch pounds so multiply it by 12 is 168 so that's that's well within the spec of this thing
Ah, now the other thing I want to do is check the torque of my injector bolts. I'll look that up real quick. Hundred twenty inch pounds. I just want to make sure, make sure that these are tight. Oh. Five sixteenths, eight millimeter. Ten millimeters not gonna be really good. all just a hair loose from what mine is it's just somebody else's torque wrench versus mine I don't know which is right which is wrong um, the one any loose ones and the reason I worry about a loose one is because if they come loose the, the compression from the engine can push that injector up a little bit you can unseat the, the injector cup and then you'll be leaking around the outside of that cup. Com compression gases will go up into the coolant. And, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll be changing out cups. So, uh, don't want to be stranded far from home when that happens because uh, you're going to need a tow. It's not something you're going to do on the side of the road. All right, well, that's, yeah. So, basically, I just got to get the wires hooked up back, back up, get, get the covers on, and then I'll go do the other side. All right, so one of the other things I'm going to do here is, is I don't know if any of y'all have heard what they call a, the 50 cent mod, okay? <clears throat> On these connect these connectors, this is where the plugs in from the engine harness for your injectors and the, the glow plugs. There's also a connector right here. And what happens sometimes is, is these connectors here, they don't stay connected and the vibration uh, from the engine will knock that thing loose. So. Uh, International come up with a spacer to go inside of here, which just happens to be about the same size as a quarter. Uh, now the quarter has to be modified a little bit, so uh, you see here where basically I just kind of shaved the very top of George Washington's head, okay? And you slide that in um, behind this locking tab, uh, that basically uh, is what what locks this connector in and this connector basically is identical to the one on the outside uh, so with that quarter in there you can see these these tabs here they're locked up okay and gravity being what it is and you know this quarter it can't fall out that way and it can't come out the top because the your uh, valve cover is, is gonna be gonna be sitting right there so once it's in there it's in there it's not going anywhere so I've already put put the one this one on this side, and uh, it's kind of a tight fit, and you can't be fumble fingered about it. You don't want to drop drop the quarter down in the engine, but if you're worried about dropping it. You can you can just take this this uh, this whole thing right 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 off the engine and do it i mean i've got everything all, all plugged back in and and uh i've got the advantage i'm standing on the ground not not leaving lean, leaning over a fender well um uh getting cramps and everything so so we're just going to get this this quarter up in here behind this right here i'm gonna go ahead and stick it it don't matter which way it goes but i'm gonna put his head up just Start, I can kind of turn it with the flat to line up. So that's it. Um, that's the 50 cent mod. You use a quarter on both sides. And the good thing is, when I was taking this truck apart, I found a total of five quarters that I know of five quarters and 
some other loose change. So it didn't cost me 50 cents. I'm actually about a dollar to the good uh, when it comes to change. Um, so plug this in. I unplug these all just 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 to, just, just to check the the uh, connections. Um, outside connection no problem. I mean you can always get to it. But, the, but that one there, uh, it comes loose. You can't you can't see it. Uh, I just want to make sure that that uh, that it's actually locked all the way in place uh, when when you do that. So uh, so oh one more thing. I need to torque the these bolts down to 20 foot pounds. So 20 times 12 is 240. Let's see. That is beyond range of this. I'm gonna have to use my big torque wrench.